here is a pro tip that you will really need. Actually, here's a few pro tips that you will really need. First, in World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King, when you do the arena quests in both one second, in both Wrath of the Lich King and TBC and all other expansions, when you do the arena quest, they are able to be done within a raid group. With this being true, you can get a raid group of 40 people, literally every single player that's at the arena that wants to get the Zoldrak arena quest done right here, Amphitheater to Anguish, or the, the Ring of Blood in Outland, or whatever it is, you know? If you need to get the arena quest done, make sure you're inviting literally everybody. Because if you don't invite them, <laughs> fuck you guys, we're on the second boss, we're not going to invite you. Those guys form their own raid group and they get the quest because, you know, if they're faster than your raid group, boom. Now they got the quest and now they're on the second boss, you're on the second boss. And all of a sudden, you know, you got to the third boss, okay? They're on the third boss now. And now you're literally fighting another raid group for the same exact bosses in your group, right? Because you refuse to invite the fresh players. And if that group is faster than you, then you're going to be screwed. And if you invite those guys and they're fresh and they're faster than you, boom. They progress in the quest line, but they're in your group. So they cannot screw you because they're actually helping you now because they caught up to you. And now as they're faster than you, it's beneficial to you because they're in your group. Follow that same advice. You invite the other new fresh guys, the other new fresh guys, the other new fresh guys. You have this mega raid group of 40 players and you don't have any other little raid groups and you only got to deal with the new fresh guys being faster than the guys who are on the sixth boss or the fifth boss or the, the fourth boss right so it doesn't matter who's getting the quest because you're all fighting for the quest of course but you're all doing the same quest because you're all in the same raid group so even if they screw you they're catching up to you so even if you're on the fifth quest right so let's say you have a group of 40 people, right? Five people are on the fifth quest, eight are on the fourth quest, so so far and so forth. And you have a whole lot more fresh people than you do that are on the fifth quest, right? Those guys who are in the first quest, they do the first quest, boom, they're on the second quest. Now they do the second quest, they're on the third quest. Now everybody's on the third quest. You got 20 to 30 people on the third quest. They do the third quest. Now there's almost 40 people on the fourth quest. Okay, boom. Every single player in the raid group at this point is on the fifth quest, and you're all pushing forward together now you have five people you, you have 40 people on the fifth quest you do the fifth quest you do the sixth quest you do the seventh quest boom you're done you're done it's that easy now i've done the i've done the arena i've done arenas like this where it's taken over an hour and a half to two hours to get it done because there's five ten different raid groups 20 different raid groups all forcing the npc to to go and fight and it's all because these raid groups refuse to invite the fresh players oh we'll never get it done if we invite fresh people which is complete bullshit because those fresh people are going to find another group of fresh people they're going to get four to five ten people of fresh people and they're going to continue pulling the bosses and wasting your time now they can waste your time in your group and eventually contribute to your numbers or they can do it in another raid group and continue to waste your time anytime they get the npc so make sure you're doing a, a mega raid and you invite absolutely every single player you can into your raid when you're doing the amphitheater anguish, the the arenas in Outland, Northrend, whatever expansion you're playing on, right? That's the first tip, okay? Moving on to the second tip. The second tip is when you go and you train for your riding, when you train for artisan riding, so I only have the slow flying, right? I have 150% flying. Every single player should prioritize getting... 280% flying because if you're flying on the slow mount even with crusader aura look how slow i am absolutely terrible imagine i'm trying to go and mine some ore and then some dude comes in flying on his, his private jet and takes the ore and keeps flying and i gotta deal with farming serenite ore because every time there's titanium or rich serenite i'm getting i'm getting screwed out of it and you multiply this fact you multiply you multiply this Along with the fact that you're you're flying slowly, so say I want to fly from here over to, uh, from here to Ebon Watch, right? The amount of time it takes for me to get over there is absolutely dreadful, 
right? Having that slow flying speed is dreadful because it's wasting my time. Multiply the loss of income from your gathering professions and the wasted time with you not flying faster. You're literally flying at double the speed when you have 280 versus 150. It's absolutely imperative that you get the 280 flying and it's not 5,000 gold like you thought okay i'm gonna be honest it's not 5,000 when you go and train you check your reputation right you check where you're training if you're going and you're going and oh look i'm neutral with the kieran tour i have my 5,000 gold let me go train in delarin Boom, I wasted a thousand gold because I'm an idiot. Because I don't know that the Horde Expedition that I'm honored with and I'm almost revered with, if I get this up and I go from 10,000 to 12,000, I get revered. And then I go and get it exalted. It will be 4,000 gold at the Warsong Hold over in uh, Borain Tundra. So right here, you go here, you train there, boom. You saved yourself a thousand gold. If you're only revered, you saved yourself seven hundred and fifty gold. That twenty-one thousand uh, honor or reputation can be a real, you know, to to get. So you know that last two hundred fifty gold, you don't necessarily have to 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 wait it out and save that gold, but make sure you're going and training at one of these guys, or you can go ahead and uh, get your reputation up in Outland, Burning Crusade. You go, you go to Thralmar. You're honored in Outland, right? Say I had, I had money on my ass, and I'm ready to get my five thousand, uh, flying, right? Uh, it's not five thousand. I go to Thralmar. It's only forty five hundred, because it's based on reputation, and I'm not repu uh, I don't got any reputation with uh, the the what you call it. So I go to Thralmar. I go here, and boom, I train, and I get my, uh, I get my flying, and it's easily, easily up. So. Make sure that you're training, you're flying at the proper uh, the proper reputation of flight vendor trainer that, that you have highest reputation with. And also make sure that you're forming mega raid groups when you're doing the arena quests. Um, last but not least, make sure... Uh, I kind of forgot what I was going to say, but I was going to say something about uh, gear. Oh, when you're gearing for Nax Ramis, make sure that you're going for item level 200 items. You can get this through professions. You can get this through dungeons. But make sure you have item level 200. And just make sure you have all the appropriate items. Nax Ramis is an incredibly easy raid. You don't need to be super geared up for it. And when you go into it, you're just going to be doing doing the raid and getting like item level 200 gear and whatnot. The mobs have like 90k health. It's like doing a dungeon, but in a raid form. It's a really fun raid though. And uh, I don't, I don't even think there's really any any difficult bosses. Maybe maybe the dragon before Kelthazad, the Kelthazad himself, and the four horsemen can be the only ones I can imagine actually being difficult. Uh, so there you have it. You have your you have your few tips. Please, I insist on all of y'all doing them. It's very important because it's absolutely annoying having to wait thirty minutes. To finish that that arena quest actually it's like an hour and a half to two hours it's horrible dude it's such a time waste group up get it done easy peasy thank you for watching have a great day